Right, so... It is now episode 40 of Motorstorm up to this point, and we have now officially completed 13 tickets, and now it's time to move onwards to ticket number 14, where our next event is called Buckle Up, where the venue we're heading to is the Mud Pool, and we basically need to use a buggy. Again. And, I think as far as I know, I do have another one available, and apparently this one is called the Jester Super BXR. How interesting is this? Hmm. Well, I don't know about this, but... Yeah, why not? I can probably use this. Mud. And lots of it. Don't think you can escape it. Don't try and drive around it. Embrace the mud. Your buggy is going to slide like a snake in a monsoon. That's entirely the point. I can assure you I will be going right through the mud, because I know for sure that's where most of the speed is around this course, and it's clearly the best line for me to take around this course. So, I'm perfectly familiar with uh, the nature of the mud pool. I don't think I need the game to give me any advice about how I should or should not drive a course. And we have got some mud pluggers in this race also, so... It is fair to say this will probably be an interesting one, is what me thinks. Technically speaking, of course, it'll be a fun one, at least to a certain degree. Even then, of course, if the one thing I'm not a fan of is mud wrestling. Although personally, overall, I really don't mind mud too much, because I'm not really... ...too, uh... ...critical about the dirt. But yeah, I mean, personally, overall, I, I don't mind mud. As long as it's at a time when I've not had a shower more recently. But yeah, overall, I really don't mind much. To be completely honest. And the Jester Super BXR, which apparently is what this thing is called, is now up to the lead. And the disadvantage the bikes have is basically their handling, because I know for sure they cannot embrace the mud very well compared to many other vehicles. And keeping myself in contention as we now complete the first lap here at the mud pool. And the rest of this race, I would imagine, probably is going to be a bumpy ride, because I know this course pretty well up to this point by now. And up to this point, everything seems to be going well. At least, I think everything appears to be going well. As far as this moment goes. Okay, that. Okay, now that was. Now that was very audacious. I had no idea what he was thinking at the time, but even I could tell when that was hugely audacious. There's nothing about that. There was literally nothing about that. That was clean. That was clearly an audacious and stupid move. But still, you know, shit happens. 
it's it's basically what the nature of this game really is. Shit happens and it just tends to happen a lot. And already someone just got racked by the bulldog. And thankfully that person was not me. Even though I am basically driving this course in a uh, more or less damaged race car anyway. And if it is possible, there might be the possibility of me winning this if I can manage to keep my car out of the walls. But yeah, this thing actually handles pretty well around the mud wall. It's certainly going better around here than I thought it was going to go. Because I've not had any major incidents more recently. Although in saying that I have probably now jinxed myself. At least I think it's a jinx. I'll try not to overheat the boost tank. Because I know very well how critical that is to deciding the winners and losers of battles like these. Still keeping myself in contention in spite of the damage, and it appears as though the impact of the damage I've sustained is going to be minimal, as of which I am now just motoring away from the rest of the field. And there we go. I win! Now we just need to wait for me to see if there's any decent thumbnail shots I can acquire from this. Maybe. We shall wait and see. I yawn. Okay, that should do it. So in the end of that, I won by over four seconds ahead of Cahill. Miss, Mrs. Sub finished in third in the Patriot Bulldog. Then in fourth position, we had Brown ahead of Pullin and Svatlana. Then in seventh position, it was it was Hashim Al Azam ahead of Mistress Stern. Buzz Johnson was ninth. then. For the bottom three, we had the chairman ahead of Salim Siwani and Lucky Jack Flynn finishes in last in what I assume to be a Jester BXR. So there we go. One event is down. And today alone, I've already made some very good progress. Because I'm now already up... To the 14th ticket. Anyways, one event is down and still three to go. Devil May Care, coming up next.